Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon XY narrative Wi-Fi battle. Um, we're back this week with a uh, another match against Jarrett, which is actually I think a random passerby that we were like uh, talking with on the games with like shoutouts and shit. He wanted a battle for, um, against me and he wanted to upload it to the YouTube. So I was like, I guess if you want to try, I guess so you can. But uh, we got some new uh, additions to the team. It made some builds. Uh, the new things being the Pyro and the Zip Striker, the Pyro is choice specs, uh, uh, modest nature, uh, 252 special attack, 252 speed, uh, and we got that uh, Zip Strike, which I actually got from Wonder Trade Wednesday. If you would like to look back, go back and uh, Wonder Trade Wednesday is um, one of those uh, named Starfire. Uh, got, it's actually a 252 attack, 252 speed, physical um, Zip Strike, and then we got a bunch of uh, Greninja, which is actually a support Greninja, Choice Scarf, Haxorus, um, Damp Rock. Hydration, Vaporeon, and then we got a uh, Baton Passing Ninjask. Um, he does have a couple Ubers on his team over there, um, being that Mewtwo, which probably could be an Uber, and um, the Darkrai, and um, he does have the Zygarde, which isn't really a big problem though, but let's get into this shit. I would like to thank you guys for the support. Uh, I actually uploaded a video about last night about the, um, leaked pictures of the new Megas and shit. That the video the support on that video was completely awesome. I'd like to thank you guys for that. Um, I, I was completely speechless when I got home from school today. Uh, I kind of had a bad day today, and that was actually it cheered me up a little bit. So thanks a lot. Um, he's gonna leave with his dark cry. I led with my pyro just because I knew he was probably gonna leave with his dark cry. I needed something to outspeed and get a shitload of damage on this thing because I did not want to deal with its shenanigans with dark void and all that shit. So I led with my pyro go for the overheat. It's a guaranteed one hit KO because I'm modest nature choice specs. Um, as he ain't living that. Uh, now he goes into the Greninja, which is actually uh, Mr. F Froggy. <laughs> Froggy. Um, I do pretty good the water move and actually go into the Vaporeon here. It does a shitload of damage still, but it's still a crit. That's why. Uh, he's gonna withdraw here for some reason. I actually could have maybe set up the rain here. Um, he's gonna go into the Mewtwo, which isn't really that big of a problem because I'm just guessing this thing probably has Thunderbolt. Um, I do get the Toxic off, but he, I missed the Toxic, which kind of sucks. He does have the Thunderbolt. I knew I could take one because I'm especially defensive. Uh, still does a shitload of damage though, which just kind of sucks. I do get the rain up, but I'm not able to stay in again because uh, one more Thunderbolt will kill me. Um, so I'm, I have to switch out on this turn. Uh, still I have the rain up though. Um, with the damp rock, that'll be eight turns of rain. Uh, I go out electric move, I go out to Starfire. Uh, however, my uh, Zip Striker does not have um, the motor drive or volt absorbability or whatever it is. It actually has Sap Zipper, which kind of sucks. Um, it's meant to go on those teams with a lot of grass weaknesses, that's why I kind of made it around. Um, it still takes it kind of nicely though, not really though. <laughs> Dip Strike is, especially with that crit and it's coming from a Mega Mewtwo Y. Um, not going to be taking that too well. He actually carries the Me first on his Mewtwo Y and actually goes with the Wild Charge here. Uh, the move I was going to be going for. I really live on 7 HP, which kind of sucks because I'm just going to be going down my Life Orb here. Uh, Nothing I can really do about that. I do get a decent amount of ch damage on this Mewtwo, but it's not enough to really take it out. Being that the rain up, my Pyro could not come in and uh, go for an overheat here, so I had to go into my Choice Scarf Haxorus. Um, I think he kind of stayed in here because he knew he was probably going to speed, but I Choice Scarf and I get the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is able to take this thing out, which is kind of awesome. Get that big threat out that field. Then he goes into Zygarde, because he knows his, his Zygarde probably won't be able to take me out with either Dragon Pulse or some Dragon type move. Um, I'm trying to score if I actually stay in here and uh, defy the odds and actually go for a Dragon Claw. Expecting it to one shot. Um, uh, he actually has a special Zygarde, which doesn't really see too much, actually. Goes to the Dragon Meteor here. It does a shitload of damage. Um, I ain't living that. <laughs> no way I'm living that. Um, but luckily he does get a minus two special attack, which kind of sucks for him, because now he has to switch out to get that back up, because he ain't life or um, white herb or anything like that. I'm able, able to go into my Greninja now since the rain is up too, um, and I do have the protein, so his skull is able to take this thing out no matter what. Um, boosted by the rain plus the protein, that's going to uh, make it stab. Thing in living. And I guess a free switch out into his Tyrantrum here, which kind of was a problem at the time, because I didn't have, not have much to uh, deal with this thing. I kind of make a stupid play here and actually go for the U-turn. Uh, was actually kind of <coughs> oh, shit, I can't talk. Kind of a smart play actually because I go actually go into my Vaporeon here, uh, sack this thing off. He goes for the Stone Edge here. It does shitload of damage. Uh, my special, I'm not invented, uh, invested in special defense or defense. 
Um, I'm more especially defensive, that's why I um, maybe for orient around that. Uh, I stack that off, I go into my ninja ask here, hoping to little, set up a little bit. There's nothing, no attackers on my team, the rest of the shit on my team is actually special attackers, but I'm just sitting here, set up anything I can actually basically. Go for the protect, get the speed boost up, um, so I can baton pass out anytime I want and get a one, plus one speed boost. I just go for the storage stance here just for the hell of it because I have nothing really else to do. I could go for the double team, but that's illegal in these battles. Uh, he actually lands the storage stance this time. Brings me out to my focus sash, plus it's a crit, which doesn't really matter. I'm able to get that. I'm at plus two speed now, and uh, I go for another protect on this turn. Just get another speed boost up because there's not really much my ninjas can do any anyways anymore. Uh, you can go for the horned reel here. He tells me that she has a one hit KO move, which luckily that did not land. I'm able to baton pass out here. Um, nothing I can really do. Uh, most of my shit's weak to this thing. I did not really know uh, that this Tyrantum was that big of a threat uh, in the team preview, but I guess it is. Go to my Lionheart here, which is actually the Pyroar. Uh, actually goes with the strength here, luckily enough. I thought I was probably going to go for a Stone Edge or some shit like that. Uh, I'm able to outspeak because I'm at uh, plus 3 speed now. It um, doesn't really matter though because it doesn't. I go actually lock myself into Flamethrower here. Maybe should have went for the Overheat to do a little bit more damage. Uh, he actually misses the, his stone, which is um, really awesome. I'm able to get two flamethrowers off, which is a decent amount, I guess. Um, enough to where my Greninja can come in and uh, pick up the pieces. Goes for the Draco Media here, which is actually a special Tyrantum, which I'd never do see. Uh, special Tyrantum is a thing, though. Goes for the Draco Media, ends up taking me out. Uh, now I'm going to my Greninja here, because I know I can outspeed this thing, this thing here and actually go for the Skull and take this thing out. Uh, Nothing really can he can really do here. Everything he doesn't really want to switch anything in, in over here because he knows he's gonna take a shitload of damage from this thing. Nice and going is uh, actually his his own Greninja this time. Uh, I actually go for the U-turn here to get super effective damage off. Uh, I had to go for the U-turn because it was super effective here, and I would outspeed. Uh, I'm invested in speed. I think I'm a Jolly or I think modest or some nature like that. I'm able to go to my Ninja here just basically sack this thing off so I get free switch it in switch in again and actually go for the U-turn again to take this Greninja out. Kind of smart play on my part here, he just goes for the um, Surf, which isn't really a big deal. Tell me he doesn't have protein by the way, so... Able to go for the U-turn here, uh, take this thing out. Uh, Greninja is actually the last thing on my team, so... Um, he still has a Charizard on his side yet, which is kind of, which could be kind of a threat, but it's, since he uh, Mega Evolved his Mewtwo, it, it ain't actually a... Mega Charizard Y. If it's probably Mega Charizard Y, uh, probably one of it would have been screwed over here, because he probably wouldn't went for the th uh, Solar Beam. And I with the Sun up, I wouldn't have took this uh, thing out with the Scald. So um, I'm able to take it out with the Scald though, which is kind of awesome. Um, if you did enjoy, feel free to drop a like on this video. That was completely awesome. The support on the last video. Um, can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get that out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, um, also, um, RAS is going to be coming out, uh, like four days here. So I'm going to start wrapping up the series here. I, this week I'm going to try uploading at least one episode of Ruby Does Lock this, every day this week. Until about Friday. Um, hopefully Friday or sometime next week I can get the, um, new RAS, uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'll pick up probably Alpha Sapphire from Walmart. Because I do know a guy that works at Walmart. And uh, I should be able to pick it up. I'm actually gonna. I'm asking a uh, favor for him to pick it up for me. I'm gonna give him the money and shit. And uh, when he gets off work, he's gonna bring it over to my place. So uh, now, with that being said, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. If you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I do upload daily Pokemon content. With that being said, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.